Lesson 11, inequality type, example 3. We have to prove that x plus y on 2, the power n, is less than or equal to a half of x to the n plus y to the n for all integral n greater than or equal to 1. Before we do this, we need to have a little uh, identity worked out. And to start with, it's familiar, and you know that x squared minus y squared is equal to x minus y, x plus y. You also know this one, that x cubed minus y cubed equals x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared. But you may not know this one, x to the fourth minus y to the fourth is equal to x minus y times x cubed plus x squared y plus xy squared plus y cubed. Now the interesting thing about this is that for x when x and y are both positive, actually I should have said at the beginning that x and y have to be positive, so x is greater than naught and y is greater than naught, then this will always be positive. Okay? And obviously this, this will depend on which is bigger x or y, but this will always be positive. Now here we can extend this and say that this is another proof, x to k minus y to k will be equal to x minus y times x to the k minus 1 plus x to the k minus 2 y plus all the way down to x y to the k minus 2 plus y to the k minus 1. And we'll be using that uh, in the in the body of the proof. Right now for n equals 1, for n equals 1, let's see the left hand side is equal to x plus y on 2, the right hand side is equal to a half of x plus y, which equals the left hand side. That's a little statement up here. Therefore, the statement is true for n equals 1. Assume the statement is true for n equals k. That is, x plus y on 2 to the k is less than or equal to a half of x to the k plus y to the k. And prove true, prove the statement, prove the statement is true for n equals k plus 1. That is, x plus y on 2 to the k plus 1 is less than or equal to a half outside of x to the k plus 1 plus y to the k plus 1. Okay, now we're going to try and match the left hand sides. To do that, I'll multiply both sides of the assumption statement by x plus y on 2 and that will match up this side of the left hand sides. So I'll write that down. Multiply both sides of a by x plus y on 2. So we get x plus y on 2 the k plus 1 is less than or equal to a half x to the k plus y to the k times x plus y on 2. 
Now, for P to be true, then this side here, this, must be less than that. So this is less than that one, then P will be true. So I'll write that down. For P to be true, a half of X to K plus Y to K, X plus Y on 2, must be less than or equal to a half outside of x to k plus 1 plus y to the k plus 1. Now we'll tie this up a little bit and we'll write that as x to the y, say sorry, x to k plus y to the k x plus y is less than or equal to 2 outside of x to k plus 1 plus y to k plus 1. Right, now I'm going to take this one across the other side. So we'll have this situation. We'll have the 2 outside of x to k plus 1 plus y to k plus 1 minus x to k plus y to k x plus y it's going to be greater than or equal to naught so we have to prove that statement okay so left hand side is equal to now we remove all this stuff and we get 2x to k plus 1 plus 2y k plus 1 minus x to the k plus 1 minus x to the k y minus y to the k x minus y to the k plus 1 is greater than equal to 0. Now we can see, we can collect some like terms here. We've got this one. We've got this one over here. We can say left hand side equals x to k plus 1 plus y to k plus 1 minus x to k y minus y to k x. Now a bit of regrouping. Get these x's together. Write that x to k plus 1 minus x minus x to k y plus y to the k plus 1 minus uh, y to the k x. All right, now we'll take out here an x to the k. And we'll have x minus y plus a y to the k. And we got y minus x. Now, this becomes minus y to the k, x minus y. We take out the x minus y as a common factor now, and we get x to the k minus y to the k. Right, now, you recall that earlier statement. So, we just bring it in now, that becomes x minus y times x to the k minus 1 plus x to the k minus 2y plus xy to the k minus 1 so k minus 2 plus y to the k minus 1 which equals x minus y all squared times all this here. Now x minus y all squared is going to be positive. This, as we recall, must always be positive because x and y are positive, so this is greater than naught. Therefore, P is true.
So in conclusion, the statement is true for n equals k plus 1. Now the statement is true for n equals 1. So by mathematical induction, the statement is true for all n greater than or equal to 1.